are going to be learning about procedural texts. Procedural texts are texts that tell us how to do something step by step. And procedural texts also list the materials that you're going to need. They list the steps or the directions. I want you guys to think for a, min for a moment. Think about anything that you have done that requires you to do something step by step. And we have done this before in the classroom. I don't know if you guys remember when I said to y'all, do you want to build a snowman? That's when we learned about procedural text. So just pause the video right now. Everybody pause the video and think about um, a time where we have done procedural text in the classroom. What activities have we done using procedural text in the classroom? So for this week, we are going to learn something super awesome, right? We already know we're doing procedural text but we are going to follow our procedural text to learn how to do something. And this is probably a little project that you guys can do at home with your familias, hopefully. Um, okay, so we are going to learn how to make a puzzle. Get excited, yay! We're gonna learn how to make a puzzle. Here are our materials. So this is a procedural text. We know because we have the materials and we also have the steps or the instructions or directions, right? All right, so the materials that you're going to need are a cereal box, a scissors, and le, where is my marker, where is my marker, where is my marker? Marker, okay? <laughs> Preferably a permanent marker, just so it won't be erased. But yeah, just those three things you're going to need, cereal box, scissors, and marker, okay? And then uh, in a couple of seconds, I am going to show you, we're going to follow these steps and I'm going to show you how to make a puzzle, okay? Okay, so step number one, the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to cut out the either the front or the back of your cereal box. I want to do this one because I kind of messed this up, <laughs> but also because this side looks a little more fun, okay? So we're not gonna need this, so we just cut it off. But we are going to cut the back side of it. Floyd is. Boom. You don't need this side. So you're only going to need this one side and you don't need this. So for scissors, so far we are finished. write the steps that you just watched on the video so you're going to write out the steps of what you guys saw me doing in the video 
um, on how to make a puzzle. And then you can try making it on your own, okay? Bye-bye.